Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your game by subscribing to our channel so you never miss our daily content. For exclusive access to our premium betting picks, join our Patreon, find the link in the comments section below. Stay ahead with High Stakes. Minnesota Twins vs. Cleveland Guardians When diving into the road slash home splits this season for these pitchers, Pablo Lopez is 8-4 with a 4.11 ERA and a 1.11 whip in 87.2 innings, 15 road starts, while Matthew Boyd is 1-1 with a 1.56 ERA and a .167 opposing batting average in 17.1 innings, 3 home starts. These bullpens are also on different levels as Minnesota is 21st in the sport with a 4.14 reliever ERA while Cleveland is best with a 2.68 bullpen ERA. All in all, go with the Cleveland Guardians to win this game. Washington Nationals vs. New York Mets The Mets have had the Nationals number this season. They are 8-2 overall are hitting .279 against them. Expect New York to cruise to another win over Washington with a lot on the line. The Mets are tied with the Braves for the final wildcard spot while the Nationals have been eliminated from playoff contention. New York is also starting Sean Manaea. The Mets have won six straight games when he has started. Jake Irvin, who is the national starter, has a 5.63 ERA since the All-Star break. Take the Mets minus 1.5 runs. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. Atlanta Braves Yamamoto has been terrific on the mound this season and he will have the Dodgers bats that have not only been hitting stronger in night games, but have also been hitting above their season average over the first half of September. Los Angeles sits top 10 in both home runs and doubles per game and with their ability to stay disciplined at the plate, they should capitalize on Fright's .300 OBA of late. Los Angeles Moneyline Philadelphia Phillies vs. Milwaukee Brewers The Milwaukee Brewers are currently leading the National League Central Division with a record of 86 wins and 63 losses. This season, the Brewers have been performing well offensively, averaging 4.84 runs and 8.45 hits per game, with a team batting average of .250 and an on-base percentage of .328. They've achieved a notable run differential of plus 135. Defensively, they have held their opponents to an average of 3.93 runs and 7.95 hits per game. Moreover, the opposition has managed a batting average of .237 and an on-base percentage of .305 against the Brewers. This season, the Milwaukee Brewers have shown solid performance against the run line with a record of 79-70. They've demonstrated resilience by posting a 33-29 record against the run line following a loss. At home, their record stands at 37-34 against the run line. Notably, the Brewers have been on a positive streak recently, covering the run line in their last four games, including their most recent matchup. These trends, especially their recent form, position the Brewers as a strong betting choice as they prepare to face the Phillies in this National League matchup. The Philadelphia Phillies currently lead the National League East, boasting a strong record of 90 wins and 59 losses. This season, they have demonstrated solid offensive capabilities, averaging 4.89 runs and 8.84 hits per game, with a team batting average of .258 and an on-base percentage of .327. Their robust performance has resulted in a positive run differential of plus 118. On the defensive end, they have effectively limited their opponents to an average of 4.09 runs and 8.21 hits per game. Additionally, their adversaries have managed a batting average of .241 and an on-base percentage of .302 against them. This season, the Philadelphia Phillies have posted an overall record of 74-75 against the run line. On the road, they have performed slightly better with a record of 37-33 against the run line. Following a win, however, their performance dips, as evidenced by a 42-47 record in such games. Recently, their ability to cover the run line has been lackluster. They did not cover in their last game and have only managed to do so in two of their last eight games. My team pick is Milwaukee Brewers plus 1.5 runs. 
Houston Astros vs. San Diego Padres Yu Darvish may have not faced Houston recently, but this will be his 16th start against them in his long career. He is 5-5 with a 3.64 ERA and 123 strikeouts in 94.0 innings. These offenses showcase a pretty sizable difference in their ability to hit with their home slash road splits. Houston is 11th in MLB with a .720 OPS while scoring 4.41 runs on the road this year while San Diego is 11th in baseball with a .734 OPS while averaging 4.44 runs per game at Petco Park this season. All in all, go with the San Diego Padres to secure a home win to open the series. Oakland Athletics vs. Chicago Cubs Joey Estes will pitch the first game of this series against the Cubs. He allowed three runs, two earned, on seven hits and a walk while striking out two over 6.2 innings to earn the win over the Astros last Wednesday. He has been playing strong baseball as of late. The right-hander has not allowed more than four runs in any of his last 11 appearances. He's pitched to a 4.36 ERA, 1.13 whip, and 88,24 K. BB over 117.2 innings, and I believe the Athletics will get a hold of a few of Imanaga's offerings and come out with another spoiler-type upset win. Take the Athletics to win. Detroit Tigers vs. Kansas City Royals This has been one of the more intense rivalries in baseball in recent years, but still, it's one that the Royals have dominated, coming away with a 7-3 record in their past 10 head-to-head -head encounters. In that time, the Royals are a perfect 3-0 in Kansas City, with the team outscoring Detroit 26-9 in those three matchups. And with All-Star Seth Lugo taking the mound and a crucial game in the wild card standings, expect the home team to stand up and pick up a huge victory in this one. My team pick is Kansas City to win. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. St. Louis Cardinals St. Louis lost to the Toronto Blue Jays in their most recent outing by a score of 3-2. Lars Nootbaar hit a solo homer while Jordan Walker provided the only other RBI for the Cardinals. Miles McCullough's had a decent outing with only two runs surrendered on three hits while striking out four and walking none. Unfortunately, the bullpen let one run slip by and that was enough for the opposition to win. The Cardinals didn't make many moves throughout the deadline, but they were part of a large three-team deal with the Dodgers and White Sox. All in all, they gave away Tommy Edmond and Oliver Gonzalez for Eric Fayette, Tommy Pham, and Cash. Dylan Carlson was traded to the Rays for Sean Armstrong a day later. With their recent losing skid all but guaranteeing they will not be in the playoffs this year, St. Louis will look to rebuild in the offseason. The only notable aspect of this game is if this will help or hinder Skeens and his bid for Rookie of the Year. I have reason to believe that he will do well against the struggling Cardinals team and provide his team the win. Pittsburgh has won five of their last seven and the Cardinals have lost their last five of seven. Simply put, I trust Skeens more than I do Pallant as the starter for each side and the absence of William Contreras behind the plate will continue to hinder the Cardinals. My team pick is Pittsburgh Pirates Moneyline, Arizona Diamondbacks vs. Colorado Rockies. The Diamondbacks have dominated the Rockies recently, winning five straight matchups and six of their last seven. They have also won two straight at cores and four of their previous five. Arizona has excelled on the road this season, winning at a 55.4% clip. They have won three of their last four series played away from their home stadium, including sweeps of the Marlins in Miami and the Red Sox in Boston. The Rockies have not had a true home field advantage at Coors this year, losing over 53% of their games. They have not won a series at home in their prior two tries. The Diamondbacks have an advantage on offense in this matchup, ranking high in several key categories versus middle-of-the-pack rankings for their opponent. The Rockies ranked dead last in the league in ERA at home with 5.36, so look for the Diamondbacks to have ample opportunity to score throughout the contest. The stats and trends strongly support an Arizona victory on Monday. My team pick is Arizona minus 1.5 runs. Chicago White Sox vs. Los Angeles Angels Reed Detmers is expected to start for the Angels and has been sharp in his last two starts. 
Dittmers has gone six innings and allowed two earned runs in each of his last two starts. Chicago has been awful on offense this season. They are bottom five in the league in runs, hits, home runs, RBI, batting average, OBP, SLG, and OPS. Dittmers will pitch well against an awful Chicago lineup and the Angels will win this game by two or more runs. Bet the run line, minus 1.5, and take the Angels.